Hey everybody, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can put a QR code onto a Jamboard that you want the students to be able to follow so they can go to that very same Jamboard. There might be two different scenarios that you want to do here. Uh, one of them is that the students can go to the Jamboard and all collaborate on the same one. And the other one might be you want the students to be forced to make a copy of that Jamboard and work on their own. I'm going to show you how to do both of those. So the first one, if we all want to be on the same Jamboard, editing the same stuff, um, first, after you make your Jamboard, make sure you change the sharing settings so that anybody with the link can edit it. So I'm going to do that in here really quick. Anyone with the link, change that to editor. Okay, that's done. So what I'm going to do is, if you're on a Chrome browser, this is super easy. If I just click up here, again, you probably need the most updated version of Google Chrome. You'll notice that over here on the right, it has an option to create a QR code for this page. So I'm going to click that. And you can see the QR code pops up. And then you can do a do this a couple different ways. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a screenshot of it. I don't know if it's the easiest way to do it, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'll click Capture. It automatically uh, circled that for me, by the way, which is pretty cool. And then it's automatically copied. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it, just Control V. And I'm going to resize it too, because it's kind of big. Hopefully it works when it's really tiny. All right, so what I'm going to do to see if this worked is um, I'm on my phone, on the camera. And let's take a look here. All right, give me the option to open in Safari. So let's do that and let's see if it comes up. So it should load in Safari here so they can see that. There it is, there's the Jamboard. Now let's say there's the other option where I said you want students to be forced to make a copy of it. Let's go get rid of that old QR code. Okay, so what you gotta do here is the Sharing settings are already good to go because anyone with the, uh, with the link can edit it, which is fine. But let's copy the link really quick. Let's, oh, let's go back. Let's open up a new tab and paste that here. Now you can see here at the end of the link where it says edit and then so on. Let's change that to copy. And then I'm going to actually go to that address. So I'll hit enter. So this is the page that pops up where it tells me I have to make a copy of it. Uh, I don't want to make a copy, but this is the link I want to get to my students. So I'm going to do the same thing. I can click on the URL box up here and then click this button to make a QR code for the page. Just in case you, you didn't know this, one other way you can do this is if I just right click anywhere on this web page, you get the option of creating a QR code for this page, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna do it this time, that way this time. And instead of make, taking a screenshot of it, this time I'm going to download it to my computer, which might not work for all sc um, screenshot tools. So let's download it. And then this box comes up, I can actually just click, click the button, copy the clipboard. If that doesn't come up for you, uh, then when you're back over here on the Google Jam board, you can insert the image uh, over here this way. But I've already have a copy, so let's do control V for pasting it. Let's resize it so it can fit right here in the middle. All right, let's test this out. So again, I got my camera my camera running. I don't know if it'll okay. It asked me to open it in Safari, so let's click that. Can I do it backwards? Yes I can. Okay, there you go. It's asking me to make a copy of it. So I'll hit copy and then I'll be able to have my own copy of this Jamboard. I think that's it. If you guys have questions, let me know in the comment section of the video. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next one. Adios.